Welcome to CTIA's annual 5G Summit. You are about to hear from the industry and government leaders making 5G a reality. They also happen to be the same ones who kept us connected the past two years. We are here today at a critical juncture. I hope we can use the next two days to refocus the conversation back to our wireless future. I want to be talking about how the auction next month can usher in another round of key mid-band auctions. I also want to be talking about how we can build more towers faster and smarter in partnership with communities who can now see the benefits of 5G. Unfortunately, right now, wireless is getting swept up in backward-looking wired broadband debates. We're told Americans only have one provider to choose from. For wireless? Really? As we know, more than 90% of Americans have three or more choices, from AT&T to Verizon to T-Mobile to U.S. Cellular. DISH launches this fall, and cable has ramped up its offerings. We even have Ryan Reynolds now with Mint. By the way, Ryan, you have an open invitation to every CTIA event. Now, we're also told Americans pay too much for wireless, but the government's own report excluded wireless data altogether. I guess we just don't fit the narrative. The price for wireless has fallen 45% this decade, almost cut in half. We know that's the opposite of other consumer goods right now. With wireless, you get more for less. Put this all together and it is clear. We deserve and need our own public policy that reflects the reality of wireless consumers. New mandates and new requirements on the competitive wireless industry just don't square with the facts. Wireless policy must be based on wireless facts. The stakes are simply too high not to do this the right way. We invested $30 billion in our nation last year, and we are ready to keep doing that if our bipartisan, competition-focused regulatory framework remains. The Boston Consulting Group found that 5G will be central to our nation's economic recovery. They project four and a half million new 5G jobs and over a trillion in new economic growth, as long as we keep investing tens of billions of dollars. That's why we need a 5G-focused public policy. Let's get back to talking about how we build farther, faster. In truth, we should be held out as the example to other industries of how competition benefits Americans. We can also help solve the societal issues DC wants to tackle. Healthcare equities, check. Educational opportunities, absolutely. Energy efficiency, for our industry and yours. Let us be a partner. Closer to home, we can help close the digital divide. We are already the on-ramp to the internet for millions of Americans. And for those hoping for more home broadband competition, 5G fixed wireless is now here. This is all because 5G is such a giant leap in terms of capacity and speeds. The rollout of mid-band spectrum, like C-band, is gonna be a game changer. The more spectrum we have, the more powerful we will become. 4G gave us a smartphone. 5G is transforming us into a full-fledged mobile and fixed solution. That's for homes, enterprises, and cities. And that's just one of the reasons I'm thrilled you get to hear about what's next. Let's get started.